Hello everyone, Mecha here, and welcome back to a brand new Let's Play. We're going to be playing Fire Emblem Awakening. I haven't touched this game in ages, and I'm really looking forward to it. Of course, I'm not going to do it alone. Joining me today, and for this Let's Play, is Raisins. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Hello everyone. Very excited to be on the channel for the first time, and thanks to Mecha for inviting me. For sure, indeed. I, I'm really excited to play through Awakening. I actually, not going to lie, I finished it for the first time yesterday. Ah, nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> which, uh, I didn't tell you, but Becca, you knew that, um, like, when you first contacted me for this, you knew that I'd played it, but I hadn't finished it. Uh-huh. Um, and yesterday, I was, like, cramming it. I think I did, like... Yeah, I thought I'd get an expert game. for this one. Yeah, I... Whew, yeah, come on, guys. Let me... I'll, I'll be posting on Serenade's Forest, like, right now, dude. Like, uh -huh. come on. Big stomp. Yeah, you usually stream Fire Emblem though, right? Like you're an experienced Fire Emblem player. Okay, yeah, right? sure, I'll take that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Stop yeah it, I, I, do, I do. I do stream Fire Emblem on Twitch. So usually what I do on Twitch is like challenge runs of mostly older Fire Emblem games, like FE10 and before. Okay. Cool. Um, but I'm big on GBA. I, to be honest though, I have played most Fire Emblem games, and I, I love all of them. Like even my least favorite Fire Emblem game is like really awesome and super close to my heart yeah so i think i've said before sure. this, yeah i think i've said before this game not one of my favorites per se but it's been so long since i've played it and i know that like every fire emblem game is worth playing every game is fun and i know for a fact that there, there are a couple things in this game that i've been looking forward to uh doing so oh, for sure i think no matter what this is going to be a good time and for me, I, I played this game on plane rides to America, which is like, those are like nine hour plane rides for me. So that's how you know I definitely enjoyed this game for a long time. And I just left it in a box for ages and never touched it again until, uh, until right oh, now. You, you, played it, you played it on your 3DS? You're one of the OGs. I think I didn't own a 3DS at the time this came out. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. yeah, I was definitely, like when this game first came out, because I, I played Fire Emblem like as a kid on my Game Boy and whatnot. And so, so, of course, I felt like a super cool hipster when all my friends with their 3DSs are playing Awakening now, and I was like, oh, but you don't know who Seth is. <laughs> <laughs> are you even a Fire Emblem fan at this point, if you can name 800 Fire Emblem characters? Exactly. Like, I actually, well, well what was that? Because remember you did that video of, like, the characters in FE6 and FE7, and I gave that a go, and I think I missed, like, 10 or something. Damn. Okay, actually, but we're like, going to get another co-host right now, actually. Nah, okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, I got a. I'm not good enough for Fire Emblem. That was the I test. Just... That was the test. You feel this spectacularly. All right. For sure. um, we're gonna be playing on hard. Uh, Awakening has a tough time with difficulties. Normal is very, 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 very easy, and a lunatic is very annoying, especially when you can't like save state to save a bunch of time whenever you have to reset, which you have to do a lot, especially for me because I'm not super familiar with this game and where all the enemies are and with all the skills doing everything. So kind of have to go with hard. It is on the easy side, but that allows us to mess around and have a lot of fun with whatever we're going to be doing. Uh, case in point, we're going to play Classic, because that's what I always do for Fire Emblem. Um, exactly. Case in point, or Avatar, um, this is not I hear pilot. this unit's kind of good, yeah. Yeah, this um, unit is kind of good, and especially if you use them a lot, you can basically just... I mean, eventually everything in Awakening turns into a Robin Solo when I play it, generally. So I'm trying to avoid it this time, but we're going to have to nerf uh -huh. him a little bit to make it vote. Um, so this is where my Patreons come in, because uh, I have a Patreon, and if I don't mention it ever, no one's ever going to find out, so I have to do it at some point. And I asked the Patreons, um, give me fun ideas what to do with Robin, and I got one really fun suggestion that I liked um, from Heston, and he said, you know, let's let's make him like uh, Noodle Arm Nolan from my Raiding Dawn playthrough, which, in case you don't know, uh, that was a Nolan that just refused to get strength ever, that's why we called him Noodle, Noodle Arm Nolan. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make him tiny. Uh, that's not very tiny. There's only three builds. I was surprised at like how little options you have for customization, surprisingly, but this is kind of tiny. This works. It's true. I mean, like, yeah, there, there are pretty few options, but I always found that like I was able to make a Robin that I liked. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, in any case, so. it's like three, four, five things per thing, but they always end up, like, that's like, you know, it's multiplication, right? So there's like a lot yeah. of different options total. But I don't know. I just came from Fates where you have like 10,000 options. So that's like just another aspect that Fates really improved on Awakening. Uh, it's kind of, exactly. it's kind of serious. I mean, like, New, new mystery. The emblem had a lot. Mm -hmm. I was shocked when I played through that one. I'm like, wow, I can make a, I can make a, <laughs> make a really space interesting pirate. character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new mystery has all the gimmick options with the hats and everything. Yeah, with the hats and the hair. Yeah. But like, everyone just keeps the the one that the one that makes you look like Ike. You know? Just... Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, um, uh, I did the hair color first because I think the one's pretty brown hair, and then something kind of silly. No, not really silly. Nolan's hair is pretty serious business, but there's only five options. 
I know, dude. Some of these look like Robin's gonna talk to the manager. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't really decide. It's not a perfect one for Nolan, but it's kind of... What's Nolan got? He, he's just kind of like a... I, I don't want to say like an ordinary like dude haircut. It's kind of all over the place. I think this is kind of what it has to be it. Uh, this will do. Looks a little female, but that's all right. Thanks. Nicely done. We can do it. I think it's got to be two or three. What do you think? Thanks. Thanks. I don't mm -hmm. think Nolan's like an official voice, but I always imagine having like kind of a heavy voice. Yeah, he's like a he's like a super gruff dude. Stay calm. That's what Nicely I imagine. Done. It's my Actually, fault. no, two, because two he says stay calm and it's my fault. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> Nolan is definitely known for his calmness and uh, being level nine as a, as a fighter in Radiant Dawn. That's about all he really gets before he gets eclipsed by Soul. So we have like two all around. We have, we're like the big two here. Two, 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 two. Exactly. Oh the, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Choose we're, a name. Yeah, we're gonna name Noodle. Noodle. I was yeah. about to say we're gonna do. Oops. Some do you, do you usually um because I find I don't usually rename my avatar characters, but I guess like you have Same. yeah I usually just go with Robin or no well, the first time around I did my own name for this and then after that I was like alright just Robin it is I actually really like female Robin like looks and everything so but I, I've done it like five thousand times already so might as well do something different now yeah might as well just I was, I was gonna do like a meme do like you mm -hmm. know let's just change the R to a T and be like Tobin or something silly mm -hmm. I don't know do it like my forges mm -hmm. birthday oh uh, February February 29th. Oh, wait, 29? Can <laughs> yeah. you do that? That's funny. <laughs> it never happens. Just, never just happens. as unlikely as this Nolan. Like, the Nolan like that, you only get it done like once in four years. For sure. That, okay. that, that's actually what I did Um, my first playthrough of Three Houses. And I was actually surprised the attention to detail, because the first year of your monastery, there is a February 29th. And then five years later, there isn't one. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, All right. Obviously, you gotta do asset speed, because he got speed, he just never got strength and then, you know, flaw strength, which is, is gonna nerf him, sure, but we're only playing on hard mode, we'll use whatever he wants. And then, uh, No, whatever it, you do with the strength screwed Robin, man, come on. It's not How like you can use magic or anything. Shush. <laughs> Let's go, Noodle's ready. I actually like that he looks kind of female. Uh, this is, by the way, this is the save from the person that I bought the cartridge from, because I actually don't own the game, I borrowed it from a friend. Uh, and I gave it a go long, long ago. So he sold me this uh, this cartridge. So we're going to go on a fresh one here. I want to take this. I'm probably going to look take a look at the save file uh, as like an extra kind of video and I'll probably post it somewhere. Okay, we're no, do this. You're going to tear it apart. Be yeah. like, man, I got this one off of Game FAQs. Look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Mecha bashes Awakening builds without knowing anything about Awakening builds. All right, let's begin. I was going to say, I like that it looks like a female because um, uh, Noodle is also the... I think the singer of the virtual gorillas group. I don't know if you're familiar with gorillas at all, but they have like. A... Uh, I, I I do know the gorillas. I've not. I didn't know they had a virtual thing. Yeah, but I guess they're like. It, it's not a virtual tuber thing. It's not a VTuber thing. It's just. I don't know. I'll show it to you at some point. Uh, yeah. I don't really care about this. I'll probably look it up and be like, "Wow, dude, that mm -hmm. is our character." Okay. Uh, we're not gonna watch the whole story, but we will watch the cutscenes because those are really cool. Uh, I always thought the cutscene of the weekend was really, really sick. Oh yeah, for sure. Like I haven't seen other 3DS ones to like compare it to, but th this is definitely like a huge step up from previous centuries. This one's really good. Uh, Fates is really good ones too. Well, I mean, well-made ones, I guess, like graphically. And then Echoes yeah, well is like a little lower FPS. There we go. That's our noodle. Oh, did we do that? Yeah, that was noodle. Nice. He's looking at dude, he's looking all down at us. Mm -hmm. Dude, we gotta show him his boss. This is it. Our final battle. Our final battle. Damn, uh -huh. that was quick. We're already at the end game. Let's go. Yeah, we're, we're already here, actually. We're already done. This is gonna be the fastest Damn. let's play ever. True. Okay. Well, see you guys next time. It was nice having you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Uh, let's see. Fast, yes, I think. Know. I don't remember anything else about, it, about these things. Uh, the one, do you, do you play on a controller or do you play on a... Uh... I play the actual 3DS. Like, this is not an emulation Ooh. or anything. This is just, uh, you know, me holding a 3DS with a capture card. It's actually, like, plugged in in a very weird way. I got it, like, charging, but it's also plugged into my computer for the capture card, so it's got, like, wires going two ways. You got, like, a whole setup? Uh-huh. Well, yeah. I mean, what I just described is the whole setup. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, fair, fair enough, Mecca, but, like... <laughs> right. Come on. Right. So this game, unlike Echoes, it doesn't have full voice acting. It just has these little grunts with the, 
with the lines, so you have to read all the lines yourself, kind of. But, you know, the story is not this game's, like, strongest points, so I'm just gonna ready? kind of skip through it like this. You can kind of get the gist of what's going on. Or probably yeah, I was gonna say, um, for, for the Let's Play, do you think it would be better for us to, like, play, like, treat, this, treat the story seriously and, like, nah. you know... Play it through or just meme about it, yeah, because I was going to say, like, the whatever you was, think is best for your audience. The thing was for Radiant Dawn, I was going to, like, skip through it really quickly, and at the end, I turned it into, like, full, fully voice acting, like, every scene now, which makes everything really long, so I don't want to go back to just kind of skipping through it, except for the cutscenes. I mean, yeah, yeah. The story of Awakening, if you want to see it, there's probably a bunch of Let's Plays out there that show it, or you can just play the game yourself, because honestly, it's a really fun game. Yeah, exactly. So, and, it, it, like, it's a really fun game. I also think it's a great, like, first Fire Emblem game, yeah, it too. Is. So. I usually recommend um, seven or eight for new players, like the GBA emblems. Mm -hmm. But uh, think... this one has got its charm. This one definitely brought like a lot of new fans. There's like a lot of quote unquote awakening babies out there. Oh, for sure, it did. Um, it, it's definitely like, w without getting too much into it, this is definitely I think the divide between like older FE games and newer FE mm -hmm. games. At least as far as the West yeah. is concerned. Okay. Yeah. Valdar doesn't actually attack on enemy phase in this thing, just Jabri is kind of do whatever he wants. It's kind of like a... It's basically... What do you call it? It's already... It's been decided already. This game is... The, the fate of Valdar was already decided here. <laughs> exactly. He's done. He's done. I know, right? And this Valdar boss is, like, pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well Imagine done. if the whole game was this easy. Hmm. I don't think he probably has, like, big... Go ahead. He probably has like bigger stats when like you fight him the second time, right? Like, probably. Yeah, Wait, be... hold on. Yeah. Second time? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, all oh, right. Yeah, the game just ends here, right? Mm -hmm. That's the end of the story. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, we don't just. What, what a uh -huh. goofy smile. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. A plot twist. A plot twist. We haven't been playing for like five minutes. Like what? <laughs> you all right? That's the end of him. Famous last words. Hyper realistic we sweaty crumb. We can rest easy now. At long last. What on earth? Hey, hey look, Robin that, the look, look, that wasn't me, okay? That wasn't me. I know, right? Robin the Doom player. <laughs> it's like, sorry. <laughs> Your fault. You can make references all you want. Doesn't mean I understand them. <laughs> Come on. I mean, like you've, you've probably seen Doom. Uh -huh. I mean, this looks like Doom to me. This guy's Doom. Exactly. Yeah, this guy. This is the Doom guy. Come on. Man, we really just stabbed Crom to death. Man, what a shame. Imagine. Is it like game? I thought it was game over if he dies. Yeah. Is that, maybe, you'll maybe, let us save over that? <laughs> maybe we'll get another chance. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I played that battle perfectly. I don't know what I could have done. Sure, come on, dude. Crom, we have to do something. See, told you he's back. What do you propose we do? Uh, something different. I don't know. Define pulse. Even, yeah, even Lissa doesn't know what you did wrong in that chapter, man. Awake now. We did nothing wrong. Hey there. What's up, Lissa? Exactly. There are better places up, to Lissa? take a nap than on the ground, you know. I don't know. It could be pretty comfy. Are we gonna take Krom's hand? Ooh, we got the brand. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, close up, dude. He's so hot. Mm hmm. What? You alright? So, yeah, they just find us on the ground, hmm? not knowing who we are. And also, we don't know who we are. <laughs> it's convenient. Yeah, my name is, um, um, what? um, um. Hmm. It's fair. And, like, uh, I mean, well, I don't like. Know. <laughs> Well you, well, you haven't like gotten into battle yet, so you haven't had the ability to like press R on anybody, right? Yeah, so I don't, I don't know their names either. Well, we, we know, we see their names on the thing. No, oh, but um, no, Robin's a true Fire Emblem player. They don't pay attention to the dialogue, man. That's true. I mean, honestly, Frederick should know that we're not full of Pegasus dung because we were blue, right? We're gonna be blue on the map. Oh, that's true. So that's how you know we're not an enemy. <sighs> exactly. Yeah, we're in It's pretty sus. Imagine having like that one friend who like doesn't move until all the rest of you move, and then like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it takes a lot to move when you don't have feet. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we got like. Oh, by the way, uh, there's, there's a town on fire, so there's probably bandits to be fought. Stop, bandits! In my fire An early game fire emblem. <laughs> what? Yeah, um, must have been those blasted brigands. You know, kudos for the alliteration. 
I know, right? <laughs> I like this line though. This game has some good lines somewhere. Unless it's on Unless fire as well, it can wait. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they talking about anyway? Unless who's on fire? Noodle. Yeah. Because they're like, oh. they're like, they were like discussing whether they should like, you know, trust Noodle or not. Crumb Lissa were like, oh, of course we trust him. He's hot. And then Fred was like, I don't know, man. Of course. But yeah, they're burning the place down. Crumb. Wait. Wait. Why did oh. you follow us? Yeah, he's armed. He had a Nizia and he's armed. He's on 80s and he's armed. He's noodle armed, yeah. though. Shall we then? Yeah, so that means he's not really that armed at all. Face practiced thieves and murderers. Mecca, are you ready for these practiced thieves and murderers? Oh, that means they got kills under their belt, but it says they're level 1, so do they really? Uh, they could be like level 1 with like 90 EXP, man. You That's know? true. How will we ever find out, though? They, they, have, they have dash EXP. I don't know how we'll ever find it out. I don't know why we're looking at enemies. We should probably look at our own guys first. Because you finished the game, right, right now. So you know, you've used all these characters like five times. And you know exactly oh, how to use them. Of course, actually, yeah. Well, the, the one I finished was like my third playthrough. Oh. So I, I have used these guys a few times. Mm -hmm. um, They're cool. I, been around the block. They're all right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Frederick, Frederick's okay, I hear. Yeah, he, he looks pretty good. Um, okay. Um... I have finished this game, I think, two or three times. I think I used Chrom through most of them, if only as like a parrot bot for Robin for the most part. Uh, but I had some experience using him. I feel like he's like, it really depends on difficulty, I guess. I mostly played on hard. I don't think I've ever played on normal besides for like a speedrun attempt. Uh, but Chrom just feels like he just gets going kind of fast. Uh, this is a skill called again, Dual Strike Plus. So whenever he's like paired up or he's next to someone, I think he just gets 10% extra dual strikes, which is like not reliable, but I think it stacks with like all the other ways you can boost it, like supports and everything. That's kind of cool. Got the Falcon exactly. for that Wyvern effectiveness, which I know matters at some point. It's only 5 might, but it gets stronger at some point, I think. So that's also helpful. And even then, like it, still like 15 might, I think. Because this game's triple effectiveness. That's pretty strong. It, it does. And like at the end of the day, it's still an unlimited use weapon, too. Mm -hmm. So like at the yeah. end of the like you just put it on Chrom and forget about it, right? Yeah, I'll take it over to Iceland, um, that's for sure. Yeah, Krom, like, we we do have weapons like the Falchon and the Rapier that provide this utility, but especially on hard mode, like, his stats are more than adequate. Mm hmm So. Yeah, I like the Rapier as well for, like, armor effects. I don't think it's very strong, but I think you can forge it to make it stronger if you really want to. And then, um, That's true. I think you can also promote into, I think he gets, like, a great little promoted class, but I think you can reclass him to Cavalier or Paladin or something. You get that extra move. Yeah, he switch. can, I'm a uh, Cavalier and Archer. I think there is two reclass bonuses. And uh -huh. I think I think I put them in Paladin mm -hmm. the first time, so uh, both of those are good options. Yeah, I feel like whatever, if, as long as you can use swords, it should be fine. I don't think there's a reason to put him in Archer, but I don't know. Maybe yeah. it might be a fun beam experiment at some point. <laughs> might be something what we yeah. might have to do at some point. Uh, they have Lissa. Uh, she's just the early game healer, as far as I know. Uh, she has Miracle, which is probably going to save me at some point, uh, just through sheer luck. But it usually shouldn't because you know if she's if she's in like any range at all, you probably did something wrong. But I mean, healing is exactly. nice. Your rank staffs. I don't think it matters much much what the staff rank is because rescue staff is the most important staff in the game, and it's E rank. But high magic on it is nice, I guess. And Lissa does have pretty good magic, I think. So that's pretty cool. I I do recall her. Yeah, mm -hmm. usually having good magic. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the rescue staff is handy enough that like it, it totally warrants Lissa's place. Yeah. She's like anyone who can safe. cast rescue. Yeah. And then uh, this guy, you, you call them kind of good. Uh, I, I, it's probably an adequate description. Late game. <laughs> and an early game, he's just... I mean, he's just crit quotes to say that all. He just says, pick a god and pray. That's all. Pick a god or pray. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking forward to seeing that at least once. Uh, he's very strong. He's stronger than everyone else early on. He probably gets weaker as time goes on, but I found... When I'm using Frederick like long term, he stops doubling because the speed is kind of bad, but strength and defense hold up quite well with forged weapons, and he also makes for a pretty good pair of bot late game. And in an early game, he just destroys everything you want him to. He's like a safety button, and very important in Lunatic and Lunatic Plus, I think it's called in this game, or yeah, it's Lunatic Plus in this game. Uh, but in hard mode, you probably don't need him as much, but he's still obviously way better than anyone else. Did you like? Did you use Frederick for long, for, like the whole thing? Or just yeah, my 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 first playthrough, I went like total old FE, like I promoted at 10, I like used Frederick a bunch and like <laughs> <laughs> was using the rescue staff, I, I didn't like get supports, I think like by the time the time skip came up and Krom was supposed to be married, I had like one C support with someone. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I didn't like, I, I didn't really have a whole lot of fun. I think like Frederick in this game, of course he's really strong, but I think he's really fun as a pair up bar, or as a pair up partner because he provides plus one move to yeah. remember who he pairs up to. Which is like very noteworthy, and like the other stats are good too. Plus four strength, plus four defense. Like any, 
any any strength character can benefit from that. Yeah, I, uh, I've noticed that as well. I uh, I'm glad you brought up marriage because I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, I don't know anything about like what's a good pairing, what's not a good pairing, what's a fun pairing. So I'm also gonna ask my patrons for input on that. What I'll probably do is every time I get someone who can be paired, uh, or in this case I got like three characters who can be paired and produce like one child each, I'll probably ask on Patreon like, hey, who do you want me to pair this unit with? And I'll start working on it in the like next couple episodes. So if you want input on that, what I'll probably do is like ask for input, ask for ideas, and I'll pick whatever's the best idea or hold a poll or something, depending on how much input I get. So if you want to support me on Patreon and have input on my pairings, that is one option you can do. But you don't have to, you know, only do it if you can afford it. Um, exactly. And, and I'm really looking forward to seeing like what your patrons come up with, because I, I think this game is the most fun when you like lean into its support and its marriage mechanics. Like even if even if it's very different from other Fire Emblem games, like, yeah, you should play what the game wants you to play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I was that, that, that goes for a lot of things in Awakening. I could turn into something, try to turn into something that I usually enjoy, like a more linear kind of farming experience. But in the end, that's not what this game is meant to be. It clearly wasn't made to be one of those. So I'm not going to turn it into one. I'm just going to like go with what it has to offer and see if that's like more fun. Because you know, for example, grinding is something I usually don't like doing in Fire Emblem. Like I always avoid it in Sacred Stones. It is also in this game. It's also in Echoes. And recently I've been doing Echoes Iron Man, and it was actually kind of fun to kind of grind every once in a while. Not like make myself overleveled, but just to make increase the amount of options I have with other units and stuff. Exactly. So, so sometimes you're like one fight away from a support. It's yeah. like, I might as well get it, come on. Exactly. And that's also how I'm going to get my pairings and maybe catch ups on the leveled units, stuff like that. Uh, we'll see it when the time comes. I don't want to spend much more time talking, because um, I want to play. I want to play really bad. But um, I say, make a move already, Grimps. I know, come right? On. I, yeah. <laughs> We're so oh, well, hold on, you know, magic. Yeah. That's that's probably that's probably what we should be using. The magic. Yeah, hang um, on. But yeah, Robin uses magic very strong. OP character, best character ever. Um it's got a whole you know, five magic, dude. Gotta go with that power fantasy, right? Okay. So I think what I usually do here uh, when I play this chapter is keep this out of range. Maybe support it with like Robin or something. Or it can support Frederick and Krom. Because I think if Krom is like supported by Frederick, he just cannot die here. Basically. It's pretty buff. That looks pretty good to me. I, I could like feed him yeah. a Frederick will buy bottom, right? That's kind of lame. Yeah, it, 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 it seems like it'll be pretty fine. Mm -hmm. Robin does have that whole extra XP when paired up thing, so... Yeah. You can get like first hit here and then the last hit with Robin paired up with Lusso. Something like that. Go we'll get him. But yeah, good support bonuses. Plus four defense and plus four strength is so good. Yeah, uh, it's like, it's kind of good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Robin will be out of range of that left bring, and I think he can take one or two hits, so it'll be fine. I, I can't really check how much damage he's going to take unless I bring up stat screens, which is, you know, cringe, so I'm just going to attack this guy. We'll go from there. You bring up, uh, imagine reading the battle forecast. I know, right? But yeah, like yeah, you said, me. Robin is veteran, gets extra XP when he kills stuff, or when he hits stuff, as long as he's paired up. If this guy goes for Robin, because he doesn't do any damage to Frederick, take up this guy. You actually can't kill him with a follow-up attack, sad. I know. Lissa can't hit with staff. <laughs> yeah, that's the annoying thing about pairing up Lissa. She doesn't actually hit anything. Oh, here he comes. Oh, did he just use Silver Lance? I think he did. <laughs> no, my Silver. No, what'd you do? You need to unequip that, dude. Yeah. I mean, like, it still gives the XP to Crown, though, right? Yeah, it does. It just uses up the Silver Lance, which, yeah, whatever. It has 30 uses in this game. Ah. I never realized that. 30 uses, damn. That's what insane. Heck? 30 uses. Can you kill this? No, not quite. Yeah. Um, in case you don't haven't noticed, pair up in this game is absolutely completely overpowered. <laughs> um, it's like re it has like all the benefits of rescue and GBA, but then also all the benefits that Fate's pairing up has, both offensively and def defensively. It's really, really, really strong. Exactly. It's like what if rescue made you stronger? Is yeah. What it is. Like, <laughs> like I've told the story before, but the very first time that I saw pair up in this game, I was like, "There's no way it's as strong as it seems to be." So I don't think I should be using it. And then I realized it was exactly as strong as it seemed to be. And uh, that's how I decided that Parap was too good for this game. And I'm gonna exactly. use the heck out of it. Heck out of it. Uh, and the game like kind of encourages you to like use your units in pairs and like build the Oh sports. yeah, for sure. So, <laughs> it's kind of encourages. That's like the statement of the year. <laughs> and it kind of encourages it. It kind of encourages it. it super it. encourages it. Yeah. Okay, I'll just yeah. like. And I guess it's unpaired them for now. I'm, I wanted to attack Robin, I guess, but. Yeah, I think he's fine. Yeah, I guess what, maybe what you could do is um. Oh, too late. Oh, I'm happy to be a friend. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, go ahead. Well, what's the idea? Um, 
like move Krom to the left of Robin, and then you uh, switch them and then separate Lissa out. That way Lissa can start healing. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I'm not used to at all with pair-ups. There's like so many more possibilities than with rescue. Because with rescuing, you just you take someone, you drop someone, it's basically about, oh, nice. Damn. Ooh. That's not, no, yeah, no hold HP, on. No HP, trash. <laughs> <laughs> no res. Hello. No res. Hey. Come on. Dude. How are we, we going to tank this mage? Um, but yeah, no, like, the... I think from what I remember, pretty much, like, most of the moves you can do with rescue, you can also do with pair up. And then some. <laughs> yeah, and, and then, yeah, and then and then some more, so. Okay. Yeah, it is a pretty good movement mechanic, like, I think you can use it, like, you can pair up somebody, and then, like, as long as you keep transferring them, you can basically make them move as far as you want in one turn. Yeah. Because you can switch ready? at the end. See things like the stat screen, their weaponry, the flow of battle. I must have studied this really? somewhere. I know, this like weird grid is showing up. <laughs> <laughs> what is this grid? Oh, I know. Hey, what? Let's get him Krom. Get slashed. Yeah, I'm like I'm prioritizing Krom for kills more than Robin because I know from experience that if you give Robin like a bunch of kills, he just snowballs so hard he can't really help other people get kills anymore. He just destroys everything by himself, which it's good when you're trying to play quickly, but I'm not. I just want to play the game, and like the more Robin pulls out of other people, the, the harder it gets to make other people work. Like you have to make work to make this game like other final games is what basically what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, we got our we got our first mechanic at Awakenings. Or we got our first taste of Awakenings fun mechanic there to the left. Oh yeah, the the, the Chinese house. I'm not sure if I want to get them, but I guess it's part of the game now to to go get them. Oh um, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should, I should just get them honestly the way I've been playing. Yeah, uh, let's just get them. All right. Uh, Robin, do the honors. I guess I'll separate so I can start healing. Exactly. And give Robin a thing on his own. Because otherwise they might get like support points together, which I don't know if I want yet or not. Practice. Yeah. Oh yes. I mean like... He <laughs> can now use... I think Tomes better. Yeah. Exactly. Tom Tomes and Swords, I think. So support points never hurt. Um, you might be like afraid you'll accidentally get a marriage or something, nah. but... You don't, you, you don't S support unless you click the button to S support, yeah. so... It's pretty hard to accidentally do, you're right. Okay, so this is a case where I can go, like, take Frederick from Krom and just uh, get, the, get the XP boost for free, basically, right? Exactly. And then, uh, and then probably do something else, let's see. I think so, at least. I'm just gonna I make sure I don't die turn. to this guy, because it'd be embarrassing to die on this difficulty. How much? 10 attack? It should be fine. He's, nine, he's like 7 base defense, that's insane. Especially with Frederick on him. I can take this guy out. Should be fine. Yeah, I guess like the res might be the only like. Yeah, I didn't get res on my level. I mean, worst case scenario, I can always just uh, heal or something. Just heal with Lissa, exactly. Yeah. Let's see, three, nine. He survives exactly, right? Yeah, he does. Three plus nine. That exactly. is true. That's not thirteen. Yeah, and this guy is paired up right now. So he's actually not going to be taking any damage whatsoever from the Myrmidon, and he has better res as well. Just don't want to put this in range of enemies, I guess. Well, she'll be fine against the Thunder Mage, so... It's just this guy you gotta worry about. Alright, she'll be Exactly, good. and like, she, she won't die to the Thunder Mage either. No. Hopefully not. Now we can show off the healing animation. You no, know, it's, it's really quick in this game. Like, I just realized, it's like, flash, you're done. DBA is no, like, raise the staff, get the animation going. No, they like, they make such a fuss about it in GBA, yeah. like, wow, here we go. <laughs> good job, you healed. Nice work. Go get him. We got him. Gotta show what the hammer is doing, man. Mm -hmm. I got you. All right, don't. I mean, me I do appreciate the image. <laughs> don't crit me, though. But thank you. <laughs> okay. You also see that like Robin was still next to Krom, even though they weren't paired up, because even when you're like side to side, it still gives you some sort of chance to like dual strike and everything. You can never escape the mechanic. Yeah, you can <laughs> just, just pair up already, bro. Okay, Come because on. It's, uh, again, I want to get the kills to Krom most of all. I think I'll take Frederick back. Gotta do this very Seems carefully, because like if you mess up these kind of inputs, it's like, oh shit, I died. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what the heck's going on? Goodbye. Well, fine. One HP. I should probably have healed first, honestly. It's kind of sad. Yeah, detail. I mean, like, if you reset the first chapter, it'll be... <laughs> the comment section would it's never like, be yeah. able to let it go. <laughs> I know, I'll, I'll let you... <laughs> They'll never let you live it down. Thank you. I think I think you're still vulnerable to a crit. Oh, I probably am. Uh, he's got like seven crit, so yeah. Uh oh. Let's see ten. Yeah, I'm I'm fine as long as he's done crit. 
Hit him with the bronze sword. Mm hmm. I mean, I might as well. I can even take Frederick back while I hit him with it. Oh, six. Yeah, I should be fine. I know it sounds like I'm being overcautious, but this is what happens when you're like so unfamiliar with the game. Is you like you start being paranoid about everything that can go wrong. You know, I mean, like, None shall harm you. you you might as well try and like not have the one percent crit. Also, like I guess Frederick could have actually done the pair up attack, which would have been would would have been handy here. Mm -hmm. I have your back. Gone for Robin. What the heck? I mean, you can get a you can get a kill through a crit. I don't know if they CD crit like they do in DS Emblem, but that could have been why. Again. Yeah, I, I have no idea how the AI target priority works. Yeah, me neither. I know how it works in Fates, and I know how it works in like Shadow Dragon and New Mystery. It's just like the games before and after this, basically. But I have no idea how it works in this. I'm gonna turn off this animation though, as much as I like them. There's something like unsatisfying about healing animations that I could just never keep watching them for more than a whole chapter. Yeah, I, I guess there's like, like, like you know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> so there's, there's no unpredictability there. Even though in this case there wasn't really either. Okay, uh, I got that challenge. I need to get this one. And then we're, then we're good. Uh, do you have a ranged weapon? Yeah, he's a hand axe. Bad axe. He's got the best weapon in the game. Mm hmm. It's actually. This game are pretty good, right? I have three might. That's not great. Yeah, I mean, like. For some reason, I thought they were good in this game. I guess they're just good forged gambles. In the I way. think, like. I mean. It, it's definitely like the character is good, and then they're also just wielding a hand axe. Mm hmm. So. You have a good toy. Uh, is it me or is the gamble not being shown in his four, in his uh, stats? Because it says it's three crit, but the gamble alone gives him like uh, ten. Yeah, it's it's not shown. That's kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> he doesn't do any damage. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Frederick is good. Pair up. Should be, should be. Yeah, the Frederick gonna... is so nice. Oh, what? Oh, dude, yo, your character is so bad. Uh huh. Should get a new one, honestly. Yeah, sure. Come on, just restart. Your Patreon did not know what they were doing. I'm saying right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. He tried. He tried. I guess you did get crit in the opening. Sure did. Oh gosh, dude, how is he getting? How is he getting two out of two? I got a strength thing. <laughs> I did pick Bane, right? <laughs> did, I'm pretty sure you did. Oh well. Like, have you gotten speed each time too? I don't know. Uh, I think I did get speed at least once. Oh, there we go, Lissa, with the perfect. Besides, she got strength over magic for some reason, but other than that's that. That's like, yeah. It, that's like a Lissa level. Like, what would you rather have, magic or everything but magic? Uh -huh. Let's take this before like, we kill the boss. Huh? Shock stick? What the hell what is the that? What the heck does that do? Dude, that's so good. What? <laughs> that's such a good stop. <laughs> That's what so good. Earth? If Frederick used that, that's funny because it's like magic based. It would be completely garbage on him. But it. How much is? Oh, he has B lances, dude. He can use it. He has the silver lance. Of course, he, he can use that, dude. He can weaken enemies just... now without them dying. <laughs> we can. Uh, oh, we can put that on. Uh, we can put that on our dark fires, man. <laughs> oh, that's good too. Oh wait, huh? Oh wait, this is Doodle. Hold up. Yeah, that's a. Oh, what, yeah. what are you doing? That's I a mean, lance. Okay, hold up. True. I, I was Frederick trying to put it on Fre Frederick, game. maybe. I never oh, noticed yeah. this guy was not on the throne. He just, I didn't heal. I was like, oh, he's just on a plane. Good job, dude. Yeah. Does this guy, have, does this game have like tracer trading? Like, what are the? No, it doesn't. Because I just, I just tried that. Okay, I want to see this uh. in action. That's great. Look at this. <laughs> he's weakened the boss for us. We got to. Yo, does it have like ten crit or is that just Frederick? Uh, wait. How, how much? How much does the shark Good have? question. Um, that's ten crit. Stop. <laughs> that's so Stop. good. This weapon is so good. <laughs> All right. I hope we. I mean, no matter what, it's content, right? Yeah, you were like, "Oh no, use a silver lance and here you are." Yeah, there the you shock go. Stick. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you can weaken the boss for us. They said <laughs> he won't kill. They said, <laughs> Frederick, what are you doing? What's it? Oh, I know. But I was just thinking, like, you know, we had these, we had these brigands like raiding this tiny town, like just some random nobodies attacking a, a nobody town in the middle of the prairie, right. and like, oh, what's this? Like right. magical lightning lance on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> okay, you can stay. That's that's the gist of it. Little arm, no one can stay. I was trying to remember. Stay, yeah, you're pretty good. I think there's a cutscene after this chapter and before the next one, but I don't remember if it's right now or like start the next chapter. Um, well, because the next chapter is the one in the uh, 
the woods with the fire and yeah. mirth, right? Really? Yeah, it has a Lucina cutscene. <sighs> you must stay the night. Nope. What? No, we gotta go camping, man. Yeah. <laughs> gotta eat bear meat. Bear meat. Fredrick smiles when he, get, like, he steals kills. You know he does. <laughs> All right, no, that's it. Okay, that was the chapter. Damn. <laughs> I mean, like the least he could have done is say, "Pick a god and pray." But no, he's like, "All right, this guy's dead. Goodbye." Did he? Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, because he he did crit, but he didn't he didn't say his line. No, he's like, if I say my line, that might stop me from critting, and he just did it anyway. Like, Does he like not do it against bosses or something? I, you said it's on a 3ds, so it can't have been like a. I did, I don't know. Emulator. He here. just didn't do it. I mean, we'll probably see plenty of it throughout the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see a few of those. Well, all right. I'm already enjoying myself. This game, good. <laughs> I know. A lot of fun. Uh-huh. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out Raisins on Twitch. I'll put your thing in the description down below. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. It's been a ton of fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. For sure.